Now we're just cruising around out here in the uh, deep blue sea and we've seen some birds congregating, spinning around and underneath them a couple of big bust ups just from a distance. Now we think they might be kingfish. So what we're going to do is just lurk around these birds, hope they thicken up into a pack and then if we see more bust ups we're going to try and get upwind, long cast with these lures right into the pack, never know, we might get a king. When you get your cast into some busting kings, there's different ways to retrieve. You can sometimes wind it slowly and they'll grab it, but generally as fast as you can wind seems to be about the best retrieve. But if you do a number of casts and you don't get a result, start to muck around with it a bit, go slower, go faster, but generally the best one, flat out. Okay, a big king, he's just climbed onto this little Shimano jig and he's giving us a bit of grief. We've got 30 pound Power Pro Super Slick, 6,000 Stella, which is a beautiful piece of gear. And we've got Righty driving the boat, so it looks like we've got a good show. We've just been following this pack of birds around. And these kingies herd up the bait. And then when they get it all up the top, they just smash it to bits. And if you can get in the right place and get your lure right in amongst them, you can get a hook up sometimes. I've got a bit of OSHA 80 pound leader on there, only probably a metre and a half. You don't need a long leader for this caver. And, uh, We've just tied that on with a Slim Beauty under the uh, Power Pro. And we're getting to the business end of this fight. Ian Miller Design Revolution Rod from Shimano. Everything's pretty well perfectly proportioned. So we can really put some hurt on this fish. Even old blokes like me can pull pretty hard on them with this gear. Yeah, hopefully we can get him up here and give you a look at him. I don't know whether right he's strong enough to grab this by the tail, whether he's been eating the wheat fix or not. Look at the size Ooh. of that for a king. Woo -hoo. <laughs> That's a good king. Beautiful big fish. Get him righty. Yeah, just wait till he gets close. Let him go if he if he wants to. Okay, a little bit of persistence. Keep chasing the fish around, keep putting your lure right in the pack, hang on tight, and you can probably do something like this. Okay, so you get that lure out of him, right him, or let him go. Woo! <laughs> well done, mate. Uh. Oh, come on. He ain't right next to the boat, he ain't right next to the boat. <laughs> no. That was unbelievable, eh? I just stopped the wine next to the boat and I watched this massive king just come up and eat it. <laughs> that doesn't, side cast fishing like that doesn't get any better. That's why I change up retrieves, as Bushy was saying earlier, flat out works, but sometimes flat out doesn't work all the time, you know, they'll just trail behind it. So, oh, this is a big fish. So I just mixed it up a little bit because I've done a few casts into these fish and I know this lure works and they just didn't want to know about it. So just that quick pause then caught me this fish and hopefully we can land it.
when birds are on top of busting fish, you've got to look at their body language. When they're just seeing deep fish, they're usually just cruising around, they're interested and they're following along, you know they've got fish deep. But when they start to flutter their wings really violently, shake their heads around, really get interested, then you've got to lurk over there and get closer and closer, try and stay upwind, and then all of a sudden the birds will go nuts, the fish will be up, get the lure in with that long calf. Yep. Well oh, done, Bushy. That's the payoff. Follow the birds. Nice long cast. Fast retrieve. And wang. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good noise. Stella spool. Woo! Got to try and keep everything smooth when you're kingy fishing. Uh, hopefully it, I don't put the moz on myself, but just to keep the jig from dropping out of its mouth. Nice bend on the rider all the time. Don't be too jerky. Make sure you keep the pressure on. And we've got 30 pound gear here, 30 pound super slick power pro. I love that super slick because you can cast a long way with it. Good reliable line. Keep the pressure on. Hopefully we'll give you a look at this fish. Okay, we've got him up. Now this is where you've got to be pretty careful. Most fish are lost in the first five minutes of the fight or the last five. Now it doesn't matter too much if this one gets off, as long as we give you a look at him. But just don't want to make, oh look at the size of this cracker. Now that's a good fish. That's a nice king. See him grab that one righty. I love this guy. Oh yeah. Okay, all you need is a bit of good tackle, the right lures, good technique, a little bit of persistence, and you too can catch fish like these. 